Solitons are a complex hydrodynamic phenomenon. They are rarely observed in typical operating conditions and require several key factors for their generation. Solitons are generated by a vessel operating at critical fruit depth in a restricted waterway, such as in a channel. Upon generation, solitons travel ahead of the vessel at supercritical speeds and have a form such that they can travel large distances with little change in speed or amplitude if the conditions remain consistent. Here we can see a toad model in a channel traveling in the transcritical fruit depth region that was continuously generating solitons. The maximum speed of a wave is limited by the depth of the water it is traveling in. The deeper the water, the faster the wave can travel. This allows tsunamis to travel at very high speeds across deep oceans. Fruit depth is a relationship between vessel speed and the depth of the water. If a vessel is traveling at a critical fruit depth of 1, it is going the maximum speed of the waves it is generating. A vessel operating in the subcritical fruit depth region, which is less than a fruit depth of approximately 0.7, will produce what is known as a Kelvin wake. The subcritical region is where the majority of vessels operate, as few have the power to overcome the resistance encountered in the transcritical region. Vessels that operate in the supercritical region, however, must pass through the transcritical and critical regions, and when a fruit depth of 0.7 is exceeded, the wake begins to diverge away from the vessel. As a vessel approaches a critical fruit depth of 1, it produces a wave of translation due to the maximum wave speed. If this energy is contained, such as in a channel, it will continuously disperse ahead of the vessel in the form of soliton waves. Whilst generating solitons, the vessel also undergoes a dynamic oscillatory response. Shown here is the dynamic trim of the model, fluctuating as each soliton generates and disperses ahead of the model.